Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. As you can see, I've already shuffled the cards, laid them out. I'm going to go through each of these energies very briefly and then I'm going to clarify. So let's begin. Now, the first energy that I'm looking at is a very interesting card, especially when it's next to this particular energy. Now, what I'm picking up is this energy of restrictions, limitations, not being able to move. It feels as if options are limited. You can't go forward, you can't go backwards, you're just standing there, you're analyzing, you're looking at the situation, you're trying to figure it out. The next energy is showing to me something going on behind the scenes. It feels like a shadow. You don't see it, in this particular situation, but under normal circumstances, you would recognize it. Now, this energy, this shadow is deceptive in nature. It is there, but you know, you can't really put your finger on it. You can feel it. You can see that it's around. It's a very interesting energy because it's coming up in combination with this card. Now, next to each other, it feels like some of you are feeling stuck in a situation and you've been trying to find your way out of it. You've been trying to find a solution. You've been trying to move forward. So before we go deep into this energy, let's look at the next cards. The next cards are showing to me that some of you could be feeling confused, conflicted, slightly in denial, not wanting to look at the situation for what it is. There's this element of not being able to make up one's mind, given what is going on in the backdrop of the situation. For some of you, you may be receiving communication. For others, there might not be any communication. But there's this fast-moving energy that is occurring in your relationship with this individual, and it feels as if it is causing a conflict, right? When I look at these cards here, I get the impression that there's a lot of denial. There's a lot of energies that are pointed towards not letting one's guard down, walking away from the situation but being defensive about it, being closed off, not open to reason, not looking at any potential sort of solutions, just facing the challenges and saying, what can I do? That's what I'm picking up from these energies. So let's begin the clarification process. For those of you that are interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. I feel like some of you went through this massive, massive change. Feels like a shake-up. Feels as if it came in, it created a stir, it left you feeling as if you don't know how to handle the situation. Perhaps the two of you walked in separate directions and went on your own ways. But it feels as if, you know, in the situation, things were happening so very fast. There's this element of confusion about what was going on in that moment, right? So I'm sensing from the situation there was a difficulty in terms of making a decision. And before this occurred, there were energies that were present in the past energies that were keeping you stuck in a particular sort of place in relation to this individual. And I'm sensing here that in order to move forward, the two of you started to move apart. Isn't that interesting? Okay. There is love here, right? No question about it. But it feels like when it comes to the future, the two of you are second guessing if both you and this person, you know, second guessing if there's a chance for it. Something has occurred here on a very deep level. Very deep level. It could be frustration. It could be this element of waiting, waiting to see results, waiting for this individual to stand up waiting for this individual to say something, to do something. But 
It feels like some of you maybe reached a point in which you said, I'm going to go off and do my own thing. Perhaps it was this individual. But it feels like a very defensive, closed off energy. It's like I was waiting here for you and you didn't show up. It feels like that type of energy. Yeah. I feel like the situation caused a lot of grief. Perhaps this individual wasn't communicating and you were waiting for them to do so. You know, waiting for this individual to come through, show you some passion, show you some of that, uh, you know, feistiness. The type of energy they used when they pursued you. So look at this. I feel like the doubts and the fears and the insecurities began to cloud the situation in a way in which your hopes were overpowered by fears. There's this energy of frustration here and things just not moving along and you wanting change. And because you didn't get any reaction from this individual, you decided to start moving in a different direction. Yeah, feels like the silence in itself created this wounding energy where you were looking at this individual and thinking to yourself, what is this person really thinking? What is causing them to go within and to not open up? I feel like you were not used to this type of behavior from this individual. It really did hurt you to a very great extent. It made you feel conflicted to the point in which you wanted to fight for this connection. But at the same time, you know, it feels as if you were fighting for answers because you felt as if this person that came into your life, they were going to take away, you know, the emptiness and the loneliness and the void. But at some point in time, they stopped, you know, feeding this connection. And that's when things collapsed. It feels like some of you were looking at this individual and wondering, like, whose side are they on? Are they on your side or are they, are they on someone else's side? It feels like that type of energy. So things did collapse in a very, very big way. I feel like some of you are feeling uncertain whether you should reach out or not. There's a very tense energy, very tense energy that I'm picking up. It's like you feel betrayed by this person. Yeah. This is showing to me that some of you have really fought very hard to stand on your own feet, right? And you've been thinking about the future. What does the future hold for both you and this individual? It feels like right now you feel a little bit confused. You feel restricted. Before, this person was showing you that attention. You could be trying to look and see what's going on with them. I see here that the flow stopped between you and this person. Perhaps the two of you were interacting, engaging with each other, communicating, and then it came to an end. And one of the results is that, you know, maybe you used to do certain things for them and they used to do certain things for you. And when that changed, it really made things even more difficult than it already is. There could have been, you know, misunderstandings, assumptions, things of that nature. A lack of communication could have fed into the doubts, the worries, the insecurities, things of that nature. So let's see. I feel like some of you are wondering if this individual is capable of being honest with you at this point in time because I feel like you want honesty from this individual. You want them to open up in a way in which they're being clear and transparent with you. Now I feel like for some of you, 
You could be in a very peculiar set of circumstances where the individual you're dealing with is fully aware of the fact of how much you love them, how much you care about them. And they could be using your attraction, your desire for growth in the connection against you, right? So take that in for a moment. This is a very subtle energy. It feels like they know how much you want them. They know how much you need them. And so they sort of use that against you in certain instances. Perhaps for power, for gain, for an advantage. It feels like that type of energy. And I feel like you're searching for these questions, but they are feeding into this unhealthy reality, this unhealthy dynamic that, you know, is not allowing for movement. You see, it's causing pain. I feel like for many of you, you look forward to this individual reaching out, but then you also realize that things haven't been changing. And that could be something that is hard for you to face. So what I'm picking up from these energies is very clearly, you're feeling very stuck right now, okay? Perhaps this individual has been doing things underhanded or behind your back. It could be deceptive in nature. It's not healthy for the connection. Communication between the two of you is either at a stalemate or the flow of the energy is not as it should be. I'm seeing that someone is walking away, but feeling very defensive and wounded. The individual you're dealing with could be using your attraction, love and desire for you against you. So be aware of that. I'm also picking up that you want honesty in terms of their emotions and you want this individual to come forward. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. What I'm going to be looking at is what is the right way to break out of this sort of pattern, these behaviors these things that have kept you feeling trapped. I'm also going to be looking at what's going on in respect of this connection. Why has communication come to a stalemate? Why is one individual walking away feeling rather defensive? Why is this individual using your attraction and love for, you, for them against you? And what's the right way to handle this individual? It feels as if there is love, care and affection there, but this individual is either playing a game or being a little bit manipulative. Something is going on beneath the surface for this particular person. And will you get honesty from this individual in respect of their feelings and emotions? You can find the link in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Have a wonderful day and take care.